wouldn't leave me alone, so I... He came back here with me, and... Well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. I'm just glad you're pleased. Um, he's in the bathroom. Don't worry, I locked him in. And this meal will stay waiting for us until we decide to feed. I'm going to do the uh, apartment 3 mission finally, and I'm going to take a look at the uh, safe. So I can put uh, that in computer, and that should be three points. And it's three points because of well-educated. There's Jules. The library mission now gives us level five wits, and I used to use that to give me the third point of computer. Uh, it's much better at level 5 wits because that's worth 16 experience point. Now apparently the guard that we have downstairs can come and find us if we do something wrong, but I'm, I've never triggered that event. Baby girl, you There's a nice pile of cash, $4,800. And more to come. I wanted to take care of this before I went off to Hollywood. Hollywood's the next stop. One of the reasons is that um, once I leave downtown I can't go back Baby to Larry uh, Larry going back to Larry after you go to Hollywood can sometimes make the game crash so I try to get everything done recognizing that this is my last stop with him and then the next stop is Hollywood and the price of books has really fallen since uh, haggle went up to six as well so that's a big plus Just checking out where things are. Lock picking of seven, very good. And $4,700. I've seen you 
here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself. I've invited. popped over to Hollywood. And first thing I'm going to do is announce my presence like a good, polite Ventru should. Ah, and there's one of my favorite blood dolls. And I'm going to go ahead and feed because she's just here. She just walks a big circle and I can feed on her an infinite number of times and she's easier to feed on than the blood dolls in Santa Monica. Well, except for the doctor. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it, Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Kafka. I love the Kafka res reference. It's interesting how much Toreadors and Nosferatu dislike each other. Uh, this girl, uh, she always pops over here. She's easy to persuade. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Come on. This is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. But your face, you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I, I can't believe it. Yeah. yeah you can trance her. Sorry. But I've also I found if you trance her and get too close to her, she comes out of the trance. But uh, there's no reason to use the blood because she just persuades, and using persuasion works just fine. Everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the dub of night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. What's up? Oh. Welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 
72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents, blah, blah. You need help or something? Always. You should come out and see my band, A Bowl of Cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. No cover for chicks. We're going to ruin the place. Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn the girls in there, dude. It's like a midget smuggling ring in there. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, I mean. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? I'm glad you asked that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapeple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? I love this weapon. And finally, we get to buy decent weapons, which means that it's also time to ramp up ranged. The weapons before this have just been terrible. Um, using them is a great way to get dead. But now we have the Colt Anaconda 44 Magnum. It is absolutely terrific. This we need for the gargoyle. Might as well go ahead and buy it now. The price isn't going to come down. The Glock is a zombie killer. It, it's great for killing people and zombies. And the ammo is very cheap. So um, blasting lots of uh, Glock ammo is, you can, I count it as zero. And of course the next level of armor is also terrific. So the, the Colt is really our long range. It's kind of slow, but it's long range and it's very accurate. Uh, for short range, the automatic shotgun cannot be beat. As much as I dislike the shotgun, the automatic shotgun is really just terrific. And that's the other weapon uh, that I'm going to go pick up. And as soon as I have that, the automatic shotgun is great for short range and the Colt is great for long range. I do that so frequently, I'll, I'll head off in the wrong direction from the uh, computer center and I don't know why that is but it's like every single time I run the wrong way or run away from it and they go oh yeah I have to go to the computer in the computer center there is another view of a really cool video game with monsters in some underground place and a 44 magnum that looks really similar to the one I just bought there's a computer fifth level book And Kafka. The alley behind the fast buck. 